Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or you won't be able to edit to montage. What's going on you guys? It's your boy Cuddy bringing you guys a brand new video. First things that we need to do right before we get to the video is hit that subscribe button man. If you guys know already, I'm always posting tutorials uh, at least every once or twice a week and I'm always uploading my montages and I'm always just reacting to you guys' videos. Um, so, you know, quick announcement as well too. I will be doing an editing contest here soon um, and also I'm part of NorCal now. I'm actually a lead editor for NorCal which is insane but um, enough of that. I know you guys are here for the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to have vertical shake just how to have impact on your videos and I know this was a highly requested tutorial as well too so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that on After Effects now if you're on uh, any other software which is Sony Vegas if you're editing your montage Sony Vegas it might be harder to follow I'm not sure if it looks exactly the same as me when it comes to your shake but it might be the same as well too, so who really knows about that? But uh, let's not waste any time, let's go straight into the video. Um, if you guys can, please use support a creator code Cuddy Edits. It does help me out on the item shop, so please guys, if you guys can use that, let's get to maybe, I don't know, like 50 you know, followers or 50 people using my code. If we do, then I will do a giveaway soon, hopefully, and we'll see how that goes. But um, let's not waste any time, let's go straight into it. So I have my project file here already open, and I wanna create some nice shakes. So I'm gonna show you guys how this looks like without any shake and how it looks like with shake and this is the most recent project i'm working for nordical at the moment so you guys are watching a little small preview of this which is going to be really cool um but yeah let me go run this out and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like without shake okay so as you can see there is an ice cream pump to it but there is no impact there's no shake and that's what's missing so that's what we're going to be adding here on this video. So what you guys want to do, let's just say you want to create some shake here, some impact, quote unquote impact on your video. We have your screen pump ready. Make sure you guys have a screen pump. I can definitely make a tutorial on that, but I have my screen pump right here. It goes from scale 110 all the way down slowly back to 100. Um, if you do not know how to use After Effects, the basics of After Effects, this will be a little bit harder to follow, but don't worry, I'll try my best to explain everything if you're a beginner. But um, that's how it looks like without shake. And we're gonna make sure to create some sort of impact here. Um, so let's not waste any time and go straight into it. So what you guys want to do is click on layer, new, adjustment layer. And once you do that, drag that down over here and you wanna rename this to shake if you can. So rename it, shake. Oh, I put shale, but that's all right. Um, okay, so yeah, that, create your adjustment layer. And once you do that, all you're gonna do is go to your effects tab over here and type in S underscore shake. Now, disclaimer, you will need the Sapphire plugins for you to create this effect. Um, you can definitely use Twitch or any other third-party plugin, but this uh, Sapphire plugin is probably the best when it comes to the shake. So if, I, if you guys don't have those plugins, just go on YouTube, look up how to get Sapphire plugins and just download whatever you get from there. Be aware that you, if you do get a pirated version from that, you could get a virus but if you have sapphire this is going to work out already perfectly on your favorite so go ahead and drag the s underscore shake preset or you know kind of effect on there um and as you can see in my left the effect scrolls pop up for shake and you can see the shake here so um typically for fortnite and i learned this from other editors as well too is when it comes to shake you want to make it vertical for fortnite it looks a lot cleaner um so that's what we're going to be doing for this one in particular so um what you guys want to do is to go ahead and put the amplitude to point eight the frequency can stay the same the phase can stay the same we're not messing we're not touching anything else what i do like to add is motion blur so click on that motion blur checkbox it's going to make it look you know motion blur you can see already it's making the shake look a lot cleaner so motion blur definitely on there you can keep the reflection on if you like i use i personally don't like it so i click no um and that's pretty much it at that point the x and y shake is what you want to mess with so x um, as you guys know, like on like a normal like plane, X is like horizontal and Y is literally up and down. So it's like vertical. So obviously we don't want any horizontal shake. We want to get rid of that, which is the X. So go ahead and click on that drop down there and put the X Rand amp at zero. We don't want to have any. In fact, actually, you know what? I always do it just in case you never know. I put everything on X zero because I don't want anything on the, you know, horizontal phase, at least when it comes to that aspect. So. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. That's going to make sure that it's going to be on a vertical shake and not on the X shake. There's not going to be any of that whatsoever. Um, go ahead and click on the Y shake drop down. Click on that. 
and you will see here some presets here for us to mess with these are kind of hard to mess with usually for me personally i just mess with the numbers until i find something i like and i found my own favorite one already so what i usually do is click on the y rand amp the very top one go ahead and click on that and put it to 200 and everything else at one uh, this is just me contesting and what i like to shake and how it's going to look like hopefully it looks good um if not i usually mess with the numbers too if i see something that i like um but with that being said let's go ahead and keyframe the amplitude at 0.8 up here click on that stopwatch and then click u on your keyboard to see that stopwatch where you keyframed it so if you don't do if you don't understand keyframes it's pretty much just like the point in time you want something to begin and then to the point in time where you want it to end so point eight i want the most shake um obviously i don't want the shake to happen before this beat drops so i'm gonna go one frame before and put it to zero and same thing with the shake i want it to kind of you know go out and then kind of fade out right around here so i'm gonna click zero as well too um and that's about it when it comes to the shake aspect of it so as you can see this is how it's gonna look like with actual impact slash shake on here so you can see it looks really nice but i feel like the motion blur is not enough so maybe we can open up to 1.5 to give it more of that kind of shake feel um and maybe drag out the shake just a little bit more and see how that looks and that's how you create impact it's really easy really simple and that's how you pretty much create your shake effect this is like a really simple one i know you can get more complex with it uh, and add some colors and stuff like that but this is as simple as it gets when it comes to creating shake slash impact on your video um, a lot of people their shake tends to kind of mess out it looks kind of you know weird it doesn't usually look as good as this so this is pretty good this is pretty basic on how to have impact on your montage really nice and simple um really short tutorial as well too so i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this helps you guys out on how to have impact on your montage um if you guys want to see more these types of tutorials let me know let me know what you guys want to see um i'm trying my best to show you guys cool effects that you guys can apply on your montages so like shake uh screen pumps maybe you know an updated color correction tutorial uh, maybe even just add how to add RSMB. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys want to see on the channel when it comes to tutorials. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, share it to your friends. This is how you have shake slash impact on your video. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. There's going to be definitely more tutorials, um, probably even updated versions from my old previous tutorials from last year um, on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And it's been your boy Cuddy. And I will see you guys later. Peace.